Did you know that your movement potential does not only have to do with the shape of your body and your soft tissues, but also with how your nervous system is interpreting it? So I want you to try this with me. Come into a standing position and then you're just going to balance on one foot. And how does that feel today? Give yourself a little bit of a wiggle as well. Make yourself a little wobbly, make it a little trickier. Go to the other side and try that out as well, okay? Now, all that we're going to do is we're going to activate the vestibular system. All right, so take your fingers and I just want you to rub beside your ear. Rub beside your ear and slowly start to move those fingers away until you can't hear them anymore. All the way out. All right, okay, now let's do the other side as well. Listen for it, only to the point where you can't hear it any further. All right, now, without overthinking it, I want you to do that balance again. Same thing, and how does it feel? Give yourself a little bit of a wiggle. Do you feel a little bit more rooted and grounded into the earth? Try the other side. What do you think? Do you feel like your body is a little bit more heavy into the earth. This is your vestibular system waking up saying, the ground is right here and I know exactly where I am in space because we turned on what's called the vestibular cochlear nerve, which is one of the cranial nerves in the body. It does two jobs. It works with the um, hearing sense and it also works with our proprioceptive sense, which is our understanding of where we are in space because of the vestibular system. It's super cool, and it's one of the things that we can utilize in our movement potentials. So it's not only about your skeleton, it's not only about the extra flesh that you might have on your body, and it's not only about your strength or flexibility, it's also about what's up above in your brain. Super cool, right?